Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the LZ Alpha, the rock that we have been working on for about 515 cycles. Now trying our best to get our way into the future with as many duplicates being as comfortable as possible. Talking as comfortable as possible, our main aim for today is to try and produce ourselves these 11 uh, 11 piles of steel that we're trying to make over here. There are a few things that we need to sort out for that, but the reason we want the steel is, of course, to start working on this uh, cooling area for the petroleum over here. You can see that we have crude oil being thrown into this hole. It's been turned into petroleum by the power of lava, and then, of course, we need to try and cool it down, uh, and we really do, because as you can see, we're, we're, we're melting the pipes over here, so it, it's just it's just too, too hot. Too, too hot. So we're going to put our... Uh, uh, steel thermal aqua tuna underneath first so that we can cool down these guys up here but secondly so we can then bring the temperature of this lot down far enough so that we can start using the petroleum for power one of the things that we need to make sure that we can do oh uh, yeah on the way to doing that is of course make sure we have all the materials you can see that we're a little bit short of iron and we're a little bit short of refined carbon over there these are the two things we need to try and make sure that we get refined carbon uh, iron not actually really too hard to do we've got like almost infinite amounts of iron ore and we are producing Producing that uh, up in these chlorine, chlorine uh, oxygen generators over here. You can see piles of iron oxide on the floor everywhere. We can quite easily turn that into iron. Coal, on the other hand, bit more of a problem. You can see that we have got ourselves a whole bunch of hatcheries over here. Oh, uh, look, maybe we want to move a couple of these. Let's uh, let's wrangle that one, and also while we're at it, wrangle that one. And hopefully these guys will end up up the top here. This here is a... Oh, look, hatch hatchling. Where, where, there's the sage and the sage hatchlings. And this should hopefully bring these guys up here, start spreading out all the materials that we... Uh, all the, the dirt that we have so that we can turn it all into coal nice and quick. Okay, we're well, once again... Emptying out a whole bunch of petroleum out of this pipe because for some reason we seem to have made some more. I'm not sure where it's come from, if I'm to be honest with you, but we're just going to go ahead and drop more petroleum down on the floor here uh, until eventually it stops complaining that its output pipe is full. Uh, Luna is the only duplicate that's actually got any sort of skills for doing that, so we're going to just wait and see how long it takes. It's probably going to take quite some time by the looks of it. I don't get it. Where, where, where's the extra petroleum coming from? We keep pouring more of these out. I guess this one is going down a bit. I wonder whether this bottom, bottom line here is the one we need to empty out. We are losing 10 kilos at a time oh and that is downtime the entire day emptying that out oh, you know what luna can you please please come back here we we really need to get this sorted hopefully just two more two more bubbles should do it yeah there's, there's one let's see what happens when we drop out this next one and uh, hopefully that will then register as fine zero kilos output pipe full i disagree i disagree most strongly okay there we go that appears to be the route there we uh we emptied out that one all the way but i'm not sure how well that's gonna uh, gonna work let's have a look at the the wiring here i i literally don't know literally do not know Okay, I've got something else that I want to do whilst we're over here, and I probably should have done this whilst we had all that uh, pipe work going down. But I want to put a, a bridge coming down here. I want to move this down a single tile, just a single tile, uh, so that we can put a, a, a second bypass in here. We've currently got one that will bypass if it's too too hot it'll come back and put it back in there but we don't have a bypass for if it's too cold i would like to move both of these sy systems down here the uh, the the te thermo sensors and the shut off down one more it looks like i might need to try and deal with a knot gate whilst we're at it though that's not the end of the world if we can hit the overlay yeah we've got an extra space down there so we'll go ahead and do that uh, and then hopefully move everything down by one and have room for a second liquid shut off just above this one that will uh sort of invert this uh this this signal here uh and move the the liquids around without it having to go through the thermo aqua tuner hopefully fingers crossed of course one of the other things i want to do is move a whole bunch of coal yes we need to take it out of the walls that we've got here and go and put it down in our hot little storage area for it right here so if i go consumable or it's coal it's highest priority anybody moving anything here there are people moving stuff but oh wow we need to do that uh, a little bit more controlled. Nobody moving these pipes at the moment. That's fine, uh, but I would like to get these done. Ah, oh, Mr. Line come to do a bit of building, despite the fact that there is digging to be done. Yeah, there she goes. She's off to go uh, rip up all that coal. We will, of course, then need to uh, sweep up the coal afterwards. That's going to be a very important uh, thing to do here. It looks like we're not going to be able to do it specifically for the coal. 
But uh, that that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. Okay, so you can grab coal as it falls. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. That where are you going, Miss? Where are you? What are you doing? You're picking up a bunch of cold granite there. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of water here that we really probably should make use of. Let's see. No germs. No germs. Okay. Yeah. That's. That's nice. We properly should pump this back up to our uh, our water store over here, as we are um, pretty majorly running out of water. Okay, with the majority of the pipework put in place, I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct what pipework we've got hanging over the top of it. Okay, that should then continue pushing that down there. All right, brilliant. Next thing to do, move this knot gate. And, and this is exactly why we need to fix it. Look, we've got petroleum coming through at ridiculous temperatures here. It's all just disappearing into the the building do we do we need more is this a thing that needs to happen no it looks like it's going to be fine it looks like it's going to be fine so then it does that and then all the petroleum comes out of here all right beautiful beautiful comes out at 200 degrees but i'm expecting by the time that it gets through here to only be about 150 yeah look at this it's already ripping down at a ridiculous rate 180 170 it did kind of spike back up there a little bit but i suppose that's fine the real t uh, question of course is what temperature is the steam at all right it comes out at about 150 which is what i was expecting expecting given the uh, that this is a regulated to 150 uh, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool okay the knot gate has been taken out i didn't notice that happened so uh, i'm uh, suspecting mad frank got on that almost straight away okay so now that we've done that let's also think about where this valve shut off is going to go we need to destroy that um and think about these two as well they are also going to be very handy okay just very quickly hit the uh, errands and then back to nine on the storage bin where all the coal goes to make refined carbon and look at all these volunteers that came along totally volunteers not forced into doing it by the uh, red alert system at all okay so the big question that we have to answer today and i'm hoping that we can go ahead and do so is whether all of this all 1600 and, uh, sorry 1367 kilograms of it let's call it 68 with that 0.9 get turned into refined carbon i don't know are we gonna get all of it or are we not oh we're definitely gonna have to redo the power in here as well afterwards but that's no problem that's no problem you can see mr line coming along and doing the majority of the work here it's exactly what we want thank Hopefully, almost exactly anyway. Then we need to figure out where the uh, where all these sensors are going to go. So this output needs to come down exactly one. That's no problem. We can do that. Uh, this also needs to come down exactly one. And then it needs to get hooked up to this buffer gate over this side. In fact, all of this needs to come apart at this point. Oh no, one of our gas geysers has gone dormant. That's a bit of a shame. Why is this broken? What be going on here? <laughs> How long have these guys had faces? This is the end of the automation wire. I think it's supposed to look like the end of a um, uh, Ethernet clip or something like that. But uh, totally looks like a face having an evil smile at you. Ah, Mad Frank coming along to ruin the experiment. So it's now 3,155 at 139 degrees. Okay. Ah, look, all my lead pipes have melted and now they're slowly precipitating out of here. Ah, oh, that, that's crazy. Look, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Okay, so this has been put into place, and now I think the entire loop should work as intended. If it gets too cold, it'll go down through the liquid shut off like this. Beautiful, beautiful. This is going to get up to temperature, but until that time, yeah, this is going to just keep passing this through, and hopefully we'll be getting some lovely temperatures out of here. This should now bring this area down to a beautiful balmy minus something down in, uh, in here. At least try and get this water nice and super cold so that we can bring this petroleum down to a nice temperature, which seems to be working wonderfully. Oh, Mad Frank, what are you doing? Mad Frank, no, no, no. What, what, what are you carrying here? Give, give me that, give me that. Oh, it turns out that you've gone and dropped it anyway. But what were you carrying? That's the question. Yeah, another lump of coal, look. Ah, oh, he's come through off our numbers. So I jumped through a night at pretty fast acceleration up here, and we have climbed... I don't know, maybe, 30, uh, maybe 15 degrees, something like that. It's going to take a little while, it turns out. Critter starvation? Oh, that's okay. It's just a puff. Don't worry about that. I never know to what detail to go to my little updates. Like, did you guys want to know that this carbon skimmer had broken because it was getting some salt water inside it and therefore started, like, putting the carbon dioxide back here? But, you know, all it took was a little bit of a fix. I don't know if that's particularly, like, newsworthy uh, stuff there. Oh, look, look, we're getting some salt water out of here. Yeah, I don't know if that's particularly particularly newsworthy. Did you guys want to know that? Oh, look, temperature's up. We've got a little bit of a power situation here, but it does mean that the water is flowing around well again. That's good. That is amazingly good, actually. 
just how do we solve, solve this power issue? That That's the question there. I assume it's because we were running out of gas. As you can see, there's not a great deal coming through right here. All right, I keep getting fleeing notification. If that means one thing, it means that there's someone stood right here. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a bit of an issue. Like, this guy as well definitely needs to be dealt with as well. But this guy, people keep getting into fights with. So let's just set that to attack and see who's going to come along. Should be misaligned. Oh, seven combats. All right, everybody, let's get in and deal with him quickly because he has been coming along and ruining almost everybody's day. So let's try and fight that. Oh, Cubic coming in to, to have a crack as well. Should have been misaligned, really. She is the one with the ultimate uh, combat skills. Oh, talking of combat skills, let's go through and put some people into triage here. Oh, wow, one of them was in and out pretty quick. I'm guessing that was Cubic. All right, let's put Mad Frank in there next. Uh, ideally, we would have him in and out very, very quickly as he is like the major mover and shaker when it comes to building. Beginning of the next cycle, uh, we've got 3,355 coal still in there. Uh, we're about 210 degrees. That's, that's going well. That's going well. This is definitely like transferring a lot of heat from here into that. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm presuming petroleum's got quite a good thermal conductivity here. Yeah, two. That's... that's uh, better than most of the solids out there i say that it's almost exactly as good as this obsidian tile we definitely need to do a little bit of a redesign over here when we get round to it because the minus 10 that's not good enough that is meaning that when water does manage to get through here it freezes in these pipes and causes us big troubles big troubles why isn't this one working it's too hot look look you see if we just move those down to here we'd probably be onto quite a winner maybe what we want to do is move the airlock over here and then uh, have weasel what's either side and stuff like that yeah that might work maybe we'll think about doing that next time because right now we're still dealing with the carbon down the bottom here let's go and have a look see what the temperature is right now 228 and only another 50 degrees to go mostly impressed with how this cooling loop is doing though ah oh, this 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 little double setup here it it's the winner it really is okay looks like we're actually going to bust through an entire other cycle without doing that so let's uh, let's queue up a refined carbon what could go wrong uh, we put in 125, we get 100 out. That's what I'm trying to avoid, that 25 gram loss every on every 100. Uh, or, wait, uh, 25 gram loss on every 125. It's a bit of a weird weird numbering system, but, you know, we'll run with it. Oh, we've lost coal. People have taken some coal out of here. Uh, not quite what I wanted, but, you know, here, here we are. This is where we're at. I presume it's so that they can work on the kiln up here. No fabrications queued, but I'm assuming that means that we've put, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff in here. The refined iron's good. Where, where, where's the actual iron gone? Ah. Uh, okay, let, let's try this. Let's queue up five of these and see if that helps. Mad Frank doing work, work on the steel there. I'm about it. I am loving it. Let's wait and see how this cooling system works. Yeah, there it goes. Beautiful, beautiful. But now, hopefully, we should be also making a bunch of iron to put back into this because it seems to be the thing that we're missing. Yeah, it's the refined iron. But hopefully those will go ahead and do that. 10 degrees. 10 degrees. We're nearly there. <laughs> I think the top tip here would be have multiple storage bins to split your coal over uh, a wider area, thus not having as much thermal mass to warm up. I don't know whether the mathematics of it actually work out to be uh, equal, either one big pile or many little piles, but I think that would be pretty good. Anyway, 275, we're pretty, getting pretty close. It's 276.9 that we're after. There's the 276. Let's see if we get the 0.9. Wow, what, ha what happened there? Did you just notice that all like back up and then drop down again? I'm not sure what caused that, but I would like to know okay we're in tomb let's slow down the game uh refined carbon two four so yeah that's that's it that's about as much as we had uh might be missing a little bit but uh i'm, I'm about it i'm about it all right let's let's dig this up and see what happens to it shall we of course, Miss Aligned is my super digger, so she's going to come along and do this one for us. It's pretty good. Okay, so we've got all this refined carbon on the floor. What I'm most interested in is what happens to it. Wait, that's... That halved in sight? What? Hey? Oh, what happened there? I'm definitely going to have to go back and check the footage. It definitely looks like we went from 20,000... Uh, sorry, 2,000 to 1,000 kilograms. Hmm, very interesting. All right, that solved that power issue. This uh, liquid shutoff was pulling power out of this jumbo battery. That's not what I'm about. Awaiting coolant? We should have plenty of coolant here. It's coming in about 100 degrees. Wow, that's a little bit hotter than I was expecting. Hopefully the radiant pipe here is going to deal with it. Uh, I doubt it somehow, though. I think that might just be a little bit too much. Maybe over time this will bring its way back down, but even coming out of here, it's like 200 degrees. Which, you know, means that the steam turbine is working more efficiently. Oh, look at that. 900 kilograms of steel. We're very close to getting the 12. 
Wow, look at how much, how small amount of steam is in there. That's like 400 milligrams. Wow. Oh, legit. Sorry, I got the uh, the autosave starters there. But look at legit. He he didn't even get to bed. He didn't even get to bed. Dude, you need to speed up. you got to work faster, man. How, can we can we do anything with you? Let's have a look. Let's go in the skills. Let's have a look at legit down the bottom. He's not even wearing a hat. Oh, my gosh. What we want to work him towards is, of course, the exosuit training. But it turns out that he is a farm boy and he likes farming. Oh, look, we got polluted water coming through here at minus two. I wonder if that's going to lead us to freezing this water. That'd be great, though. I do hear, actually, there's about a three-degree buffer uh, for the state change, if you will. Uh, so uh, may maybe not, maybe not. Okay, steam has a thermal conductivity of 0 0.184 and chlorine, if we can find it, 0, 0.0. Okay, steam is the preferred option there, it turns out. Oh, look at that, we're so close. We're a thousand out of uh, 1,200. Ooh, gotta get there. No, the problem is, this doesn't have any steam in it anymore, so I'm not sure how we're gonna cycle it through and cool it down. Hmm, we'll find a way, though. We'll find a way. And that is our last steel made. Woo, all right, now we can go and place this down here. Ooh, maybe we need to think about the pipes first. So now is the time. Let's do this. We're going to go to Utility, Thermo, Aqua Tuna. I'm going to grab the steel one. We're going to put that there, and we're going to start ripping down pipes. I don't like these, and I don't like anything over here. Right, we'll get rid of all of that. Beautiful. I also want to turn... Give me that back. I also want to turn these around. So that's going to take a little bit of time just to get in there and turn that like that. I have got the liquid bridge, right? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I kind of felt like I'd got the... Uh the actual pipe, the radiant pipe, rather than the bridge. Then we come down here, and then let's think about how we want to do this. We want this to be the cold part, and we want this to be the cooling part. So we're going to get the radiant pipe. We're going to get the uh, the iron ones because, you know, overheat temperature and stuff. I'm a little bit worried that we're almost instantly going to run out and then have nowhere to put it. But, you know, we'll have to deal with that. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's it instantly happened there. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. And I need to try and figure out how to put the double system up here. You, you know the ones. The ones that we literally just worked on. This, I need to somehow figure this into this system as well. Ideally out of stuff that won't melt. And so to do that, we're going to grab a whole bunch of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's liquid bridges down. Let's try and put those in the other way around. Is there anything in particular I want to make out of? Probably just igneous rock. Overheat temperature high and slow heating. Ah, put it down the wrong way. Ah, uh, downtime always comes along to ruin my fun. But we've got the beginnings of something here going. And we have started making just a little bit more of... Not ventilation, plumbing. A little bit more of the iron that we need. Ah, oh, I really thought I'd been made. Let's go up and have a look, see what's going on here. I know someone's made a little bit. Look, there it is. Must have been um, already tagged for somewhere else. No. No, you're kidding me. 324 is too much for the thermal anchor tuner. No, properties. Let's have a look. Temperature. No, it should tell us here. 125. We're made out of steel. What? Iron ore? Oh, wait. So I've been looking at these liquid shaft valves. And I understand that the temperature is 55 because it is uh, lead. So let's come into the plumbing and have a look at the liquid shaft valve here. Uh, so copper, uh, overheat temperature plus 50, still puts it at 75. Really, at plus 50. That's, mm, that's, that's an interesting one. But more importantly, that means that um, iron will only give a plus 50. But steel will give a plus 200. So it doesn't matter what we actually make this out of as long as it's made out of steel. Because... 327 is a long way over any of the 175s or whatever it possibly could be. So it looks like steel production is a go, but of course we need more iron right now, and iron is being made as and when it can be done. Let's see who's on it. Mimi is our current operator. She seems to be doing it quite a lot, and I'm all about that, but it needs to hurry up. really does. Ah, oh, this is a little bit not fair. Oh, it's literally two degrees over what it can handle. Oh, what do we do to fix that? Um, I mean, we probably break it and save the steel, right? Oh, gosh. All right, come on. Let's break this down and try and save all the steel that is part of this. Hopefully, with the alarm going, Missile Line should be coming on. Missile Line, one of the better builders, so should be able to break that down. And I've got an idea of how to deal with all this, and we are going to deal with it. The problem that we've got right now is the fact that the sour gas underneath has not been... Uh, it cannot be processed by these steam turbines. That is the big problem that we have right now. We want to get enough steam underneath that these steam turbines can start working through them. Obviously, the fact that we also have the um, 
the steam in here means that these are over 100 degrees and we need to try and lower that temperature down but the first thing we need to do no don't leave me now where are you going why why is this a thing oh well the first thing i need to do is try and destroy all this sour gas under here i was playing on a casual game yesterday uh, and i accidentally i was trying to set up a door pump but i accidentally ended up deleting entire entire rows of gases and that made me think hey Maybe I can break down these gases as well. So we're going to try and do that down here. I'm not sure whether we're going to have um, aluminum. Is that going to be aluminium? Whichever way you want to say that, depending on either side of the uh, of the, the 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 pond. There. What is its melting temperature? It doesn't say at the moment. Hmm, I wonder if it even has one. Okay, this mechanized airlock goes all the way up to 600 degrees, so I'm going to assume that's a no. This also happens to be the point where we updated to the new automation update, where every, even liquid reservoirs have uh, automation on them. So we need to quickly do a little reeker jigger with this, uh, this AND gate down here. This also needs to be done, but hopefully down here we have got ourselves this being destroyed. Let's have a look. I'm in particular interested in how much steel got dropped. Let's try and find it here. Only 800 grams we put 1200 in it so we've definitely lost a little bit but that's it's not the end of the world that that's happened but it's also not great okay small rebuild it should mean that we don't even need this automated wire here ah wait no i bet this means that it's actually an output not an input okay we'll, we'll see what happens with that we'll see whether we can even use that like that um i'm just gonna have a quick look and see what this even says and the water flows again beautiful beautiful Oh, no, I'm a little worried that legit over here is going to have himself a little bit of an issue. None of these seem to be able to uh, load up here. I'm not sure. Well, I do know why, actually. If we go and have a look uh, on the F6, we don't have water going into these guys over here. That's a big problem. If we come all the way down, you can see that actually it is a big problem. We don't have any water in here right now. We need to try and sort that out at some point. Oh, hello. What have we got going on here? Uh, has this taken a little bit of damage or is the wire behind it taking a little bit of damage? Is it turns out it has i'm not sure what's going on with that uh but going on it is okay let's try and put a couple more of these down whilst we're over this side uh, i'm not sure if you guys are aware but we're having a few overheating problems over here like you can definitely see it that we are definitely having a few overheating problems is this all good down here though oh this might be dormant oh dear oh dear good time to be working on this though I'm going to try turning all the accesses off here because I've set up the um, set up these dock points with a clearance only to be when there's people coming through. Then it should mean that we can share out all of these a little bit better when the gases come through. That's my plan anyway. I'm hoping it works out because these are some of the big movers and shakers just kind of trapped in the base right now. We're watching the lead melt and freeze back out over here. I'm not sure whether this is bringing my temperature of the oil down, but I'm enjoying watching it. I'll tell you that much for free. Obviously, I've had to make these uh, automation wires out of aluminium. There are some leads up top here. We're going to see how that works out. But of course, the sour gas much cooler than the uh, than the crude oil underneath. So we'll see how that actually works out in the end. Sacrificing the entire base function so we can get these uh, doors built. No, that doesn't sound like over twitchy see overseer twitchy. Over twitchy seer. Yeah, that's a great phrase. I'm going to use that more often. <laughs> okay, so that's all the doors. Now we just need to try and get this wire put in place. Oh, a couple of cycles later, we are starting to run out of the atmospheric suits that are actually usable over here. I'm hoping Mad Frank is one of the first to get going here, but we're just going to have to wait and see. I, yeah, I, I really don't know what's going to go from here. Uh, lots of people are going to be complaining. I know that much. So let's try P0. I, I, we all know this is a bad idea, but I'm going to go ahead and do this anyway and see if we can't get my boy Mad Frank down here to be working on this. That's kind of what I want. Decipher, I suppose he'll do in a pinch. Oh, Mad Frank, what's going on, man? Oh, it looks like you're uh, you're having a little bit of oxygen troubles. You, uh, you need help there by any chance. Oh, Mad Frank, just... Just kind of having a little bit of a more more of a sleep on the on the job. I'm uh, I'm not sure why you're doing that, man. Well, actually, I do know why you're doing that because we've got lights over the top of all their beds, and if they don't sleep during the time they're supposed to sleep, then they get woken up by the lights and told to go to work. Um, it's pretty pretty harsh, actually. Now that I stop and think about it, <clears throat> almost as harsh as having to wait for legit to come through when I want these uh, these jobs done quickly. Oh, he's so slow. How about the skills over here, legit? Can we start working in towards your uh, exosuit training? No. Oh, yes. Yes, we got him there. Okay, cool. Hopefully now he's going to run faster. Hopefully. 
Okay, it took long enough, but I've finally got it sorted. So it all comes off of this timer sensor here. This is literally just a 10 by 10 split. Uh, no, uh, no big... Uh, mystery there. What happens next is we get a buffer gate going towards the inside doors and a filter gate going towards the outside. That means the moment this changes, uh, the door at the front will respond, whereas the doors on the inside have kind of got a little bit of lag going on compared to the door at the front. So every time that it opens, it lets a whole bunch of sour gas in. You know what? I might even reduce the red time here. Uh, that one opens and then this lets a whole bunch of sour gas in here. We can probably watch the gas flow. Beautiful, beautiful. This door then slams shut. I say slams shut. It shut, shuts at a stately pace. And then these ones shut down behind it, closing off all of the sour gas and hopefully destroying it. That, that's kind of my plan right now, is to destroy all the sour gas and just kind of get it out of here. So I've been staring at this little bit of water here for a while and it's like at minus one. It really wants to go down just a little bit lower. So what I've done is I've gone, come along and I've set these onto eight. This should now mean that the temperature is going to come down just another two degrees. That's gone from 10 to, to 8. Uh, that should hopefully freeze this bit of water here. I don't know why I want to do it, but I want to do it. 0.25. It, it's going to do that. It, it's so totally going to do that. When it's going to actually change, as anybody's guess, it says it's minus 0.6, but we are already well past that. Let's go to 3.6 and see what happens when that that reaches there. I'm told three degrees is the threshold. Yeah, three degrees very much is the threshold. Okay, that's one to bear in mind there. Okay, I'm not sure how much we're losing, but we definitely appear to be losing some sour gas, despite the fact that the weight, if we have a look at the sour gas tooltip there, unbreathable gas at 5.30, it's going down to four, occasionally goes back up to seven, but we were starting at nine. So I feel like that has done wonders, and we're just going to go through and slowly, slowly destroy all this sour gas here. I wish we could do it a little a bit faster but we are limited by the size of the chamber here i think it's a shame that we can't really see oh hang about uh, that was the 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 um materials overlay the gas overlay also not really helping the problem is of course that just about everything isn't unbreathable isn't breathable uh so I'm, I'm wondering whether the gas gets further down than here uh it'd be nice to know if it does or not turned up the buffer gate so that this door can be closed for just a little bit longer before these ones start to close and hopefully just really make sure that we are destroying all this sour gas so after watching this materials overlay for a goodly long time, I really do feel like we are on top of this. Look how little sour gas is actually floating around now. So much so that I have turned up the timer of the green duration here to allow the sour gas to really kind of drift down and get going down here. I really want to turn these buildings on now, but that is going to be a problem for next time. Yes, indeed, we have not got the sour gas out from under here, which means we now have steam underneath these, these bad boys over here. If we can chill down the environment in here, which I think we're going to do with the thermoregulator, if we can chill down this environment in here, we are definitely going to have some top-notch steam generation going, which will really help with the cooling down of this area over here. But as I say, that will be for next time. And I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you when we are going to get on with that. But I'll see you then. But we're going to do that. Bye!